Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. So we got some news with Chainlink and Solana. Good for Chainlink, very good for Solana. It's a little bit unfortunate it has to be Solana because Chainlink is coming to Solana. That means Solana DeFi developers will be able to use Chainlink oracles and prices for their DeFi, which should uh, elevate the level of their DeFi because Chainlink are very, very dependent oracles. Now, it's a big move because even though uh, other things like AVAX have actually used Chainlink oracles, this is the first fully um, full network to use Chainlink or oracles that isn't EVM compatible. So they're slowly shifting their uh, strategy away from Ethereum. Now, it's not like they're not going to use Ethereum anymore, but it is pretty big that Solana will actually be able to use Chainlink's oracles and it's not going to be compatible with Ethereum virtual machine. So I think this does actually represent kind of like, you know, independence from Ethereum. Now, I don't really know like, um, you know, if there's going to be a mass migration over. And the reason why I said it's too bad that it has to be Solana because the first non-EVM compatible uh, chain for Chainlink DeFi has to be Solana because it keeps going down. Obviously, that means it's not very dependable. And they basically state popular DeFi projects such as AVE, Compound, and DAYDX already use Chainlink data services. Chainlink's launch on Solana, however, makes it the first non-Ethereum virtual machine chain supported by the network. So it's not an EVM chain. So like it is somewhat independence from Ethereum. I hope they add more non-EVM virtual, uh, non-EVM chains uh, to Solana so people have a choice of which network they actually want to go on. Obviously, we don't really like the Ethereum network for DeFi, mainly because the fees are so, so high. But Solana is still severely down because it keeps going down. Chirag Doho, head of product marketing at Chainlink Labs, told Coindesk the high throughout architecture of Solana will help the price feeds obtain data at high speeds and low costs, much unlike Ethereum, which is low speeds and high costs. Chainlink services have brought 2.6 billion data points to the blockchain applications, uh, in February, Bank of America attributed the growth of DeFi's total value locked uh, to Chainlink services accelerating mass adoption. Unfortunately, since then, DeFi value has more than cut in half, um, largely because of the market drop, but also because definitely of Terra Luna and the lack of confidence that uh, that has actually inspired in crypto and DeFi. So pretty big news for Chainlink. I think Chainlink investors should be pretty happy. Um, they're basically getting traction in every coin, every chain, I mean. They're not really tied to ETH anymore. Solana users should be happy because they have more dependable oracles, better price feeds, and just better overall DeFi. So very good news for both chains. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a good day.